welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am outside in the glorious UK sunshine today, quite rare, so I'm making the most of it. Um, I am Kat Methan, for those of you that don't know, and today we are gonna be doing some yoga and stretchiness. So today's flow is all about the lower body. 15 minutes, we're gonna be looking at the glutes, the IT band, the hamstrings, the hips, the quads, the whole lot. So to iron out any of those creases, anything that's feeling a bit icky and a bit tight, we're gonna do it. So let's get on with it. So coming to lay down on your mat, you can bend the knees up and just have the feet on the mat, knees falling together. And for this flow, you might need a block and I would recommend having a strap or a yoga belt. So if you haven't got those by your side now, just pop me on pause and run and grab yourself everything you need. Those of you ready to get on with our flow for the day, just start to soften into the breath. Feel the belly rise and fall with each inhale and each exhale, closing off the eyes. Hugging the knees into the chest now and just rock side to side, taking the hands on top of each knee and then we'll send the knees round in circles, so going to the outside first. And we're just ma massaging out through the sacrum and the lumbar spine here. So you can open the knees as wide as they'll go. We'll go four going one direction and then four going the opposite direction, going inwards now. Again, still with the eyes closed, just softening into our practice, gently moving through our opening postures and then once you're finished keep that right knee hugged into the chest take the left knee away and if you've got your strap hook the strap around the right foot or you can just hold behind the thigh or the calf I like to use a strap because it means that I can work on lengthening the leg so just gently drawing the right leg towards the body trying to keep that leg as straight as possible. The left leg is straight down on the mat. With each exhale, maybe going a little bit deeper, placing the left hand on the left thigh now and opening the right leg out to the right side. Of course, noticing if you are happen to be looking at the screen, you do not need to go as far as I have gone here. I am just very much working to the openness of my hips and you must do the same. So if your leg is off the ground, that is absolutely fine. You just have to do what feels right for you. So let's draw that right leg back up to the top. You can release the strap if you had it hooked and then cradle the right ankle. So take the hands underneath the right ankle. The right knee drops out to the side and we draw the foot down towards the belly. Being careful of the right knee here. Just being really aware of how everything feels today. Always connecting with the breath. Releasing that foot, drawing the left knee in and placing the right ankle on top of the right, the left knee. Interlace the hands and then draw that left knee in towards you. So we're stretching down through the right IT band and the glute. And again, staying with those inhales and exhales. Feel the space that's created in the body with each breath. Slowly releasing both legs, hug the knees in. So taking hold of your strap again, this time right leg goes down all the way straight to the mat. We hook the strap or the yoga belt around the left foot and we straighten the left leg and start to draw that leg in towards the belly. Shoulders and the head are down on the mat. and then placing the right hand on the right thigh. This just helps us press that hip down and we can open the left leg out to the side. Again, it does not matter if that leg is quite high up off the floor. 
we're working into the groin here, so just opening it out as far as feels good for you. And then slowly releasing the strap. Let's cradle the ankle again with both hands, drawing the left foot in towards the belly. The knee goes out to the side. Again, being gentle, being careful here. And release, drawing the right knee in and we place the left ankle on the right knee, thread the hands through and interlace them behind the right thigh, drawing again those legs in towards the tummy, targeting the IT band and the glutes here. One last breath. And then we slowly start to release those legs down to the mat. So just hug the knees in gently and then start to rock backwards and forwards. Again, massaging out through the spine. And we'll come to a seated position, legs out straight in front of you, always the option of sitting on top of a block here. So Paschimottanasana, it can really help to have a block to tilt the pelvis slightly so you can get a little bit more length. Inhale, the arms sweep all the way up and then exhale, coming forwards, focusing on the length of the spine rather, on, rather than how low you can go. So this is all about getting the torso towards the thighs rather than thinking about having the head down towards the knees. And as we hold here on an inhale, feel free to lift the chest slightly and then exhale, see if you can come a little bit deeper. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, lift the chest. So as gracefully as possible now, we're gonna come into Malasana, so our yogic squat. So the feet are pointing outwards slightly. We've got the knees out, hands at heart center, and the elbows pressing against the knees. Really working into the hips. Maybe close off the eyes again. And then placing the right hand down, we'll sweep the left arm all the way up in the sky opening out through the chest, option of just trying to thread that left hand through to the inside of the thigh. If you can't get that thread, then that's absolutely fine. Just keep the arm up towards the sky. Inhale, and then exhale, release, this time sweeping the right arm all the way up to the sky. Again, option of taking that little bind there, see if you can thread the arm through the inside of the thigh. If you can't, that's absolutely fine. Just keeping the arm all the way up. And then we'll release back down. Taking the bottom again, another graceful transition all the way down to the floor. Legs are in a straddle position. Option of sitting on your block, as I just mentioned. We're gonna work through a couple of side stretches here first. So coming round in circles with the chest. So we go over to one side, reach down through center, up to the other side. So we go four going one direction, and then we'll go four going the opposite direction. You can place the hands on the car, on the shin even here, and just to help work the body round with that pressure. Last one. And then inhale, right arm sweeps all the way up. And we come over into a stretch, leaning towards the left foot. Trying to keep the chest as lifted as possible in these side stretches here. So we're not collapsing the chest down in front. Inhale. Reaching all the way back up through neutral. Left arm sweeps all the way up and over now and we take hold or we lean towards the right foot. So yes, I can take hold of that foot, but that's absolutely not necessary. So 
those of you that flow with me before know that I'm all about you guys doing the practice that feels right for you. Inhale, come back to center. Beautiful, and then place the hands down in front of you and start to walk those hands forwards. So you may be up on the hands, you may be able to come down to the forearms, or you might even be able to take the belly down to the mat. Any of those options is awesome, are awesome. <laughs> Just have to do the one that feels right for you. And the one where you do feel like you're getting a stretch, you know, we don't want to go too easy because we do want to stretch out, but just don't force it. Work with each inhale and each exhale, creating space in the body. Start to work the body all the way up again now. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale the hands down through heart center. So swinging the legs around now, plant the hands down. We'll come around into a downward facing dog. And from here, start to pedal out through the feet. So one knee bending at a time, coming up onto the toes. Always looking to lengthen the spine in our downward facing dog. So yes, this is a lower body stretch, but the spine is our most important part. So right leg sweeps up into the sky, bending the top knee. So we're in a three leg dog, hips are super nice and open. Really pushing out through the shoulders and release, bringing that right leg all the way through to pigeon. So the, you can pop a block underneath the right butt cheek if that works for you. And then we're just staying here. So either again, the chest can be lifted and you can be on the hands. You could come down to the forearms or you could come down all the way so that the forehead is on the mat. Again, listening to the body doing what feels good for you. One more breath here, and then we'll start to lift the chest. Just hold here with the chest super lifted, draw in through the lower tummy. And then planting the hands down, tuck under the back foot, come back all the way to a downward facing dog. And we'll go on the left side, so left leg sweeps all the way up in the air to our three leg dog. Bending the top knee, opening out through the hips. And then straightening that leg, bringing the left knee all the way through towards the left hand, coming down into our pigeon. Again, our same options apply, staying up on the hands and the chest lifted, having a block underneath the bottom to keep the hips a little bit more aligned, or you could come down onto the forearms or melt the head down to the mat. Inhaling and exhaling. And then on an inhale, start to work yourself all the way back up to neutral, drawing up through the lower tummy, Mula Banda, Uddiyana Banda. For those of you familiar with your bandas, drawing in through those now. And then we'll tuck under the toe, place the hands down and arrive back in a downward facing dog. Taking a super deep bend at the knees in our downward facing dog and hopping forwards to the front of your mat, coming down into this little squat here. So we're up on the toes, just working on a little bit of strength and balance in the lower body before popping the bottom all the way back down on the mat. Coming down, hugging the knees into the chest. So we're laying down on the mat now. And we're coming into a happy baby. So taking hold of the outsides of the feet. Or you can take the two piece fingers around the big toes. And rocking side to side, always an option in happy baby. Or finding stillness. 
And as we come to the end of a stretch, end of our practice, finding a little bit of stillness now. And then slowly releasing the happy baby, hug the knees in, and then place the feet to the outsides of your mat, knees bent in, and then the knees just fall together. So this relaxation posture here is just all about releasing any tension through the lower spine. Closing off the eyes, feel the breath start to soften. Feeling the body melt down into the mat. You guys have done amazing today. Thank you so much for stretching and flowing with me. Join me every Sunday for a yoga flow and every Wednesday for another video. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Namaste and I will see you soon.